was doing artwork for the snake and studying snakes online. Uh, the artwork for the monogram for the embroidery enlarged about uh, three feet across on the will be the silk down comforter cover. Uh, I did find this online. It was for a ad for um, it's for a story about how uh, people are becoming disenchanted with Silicon Valley. And basically, in the storyline, uh, the author, who I can't remember, and I, I don't know if there was any uh, art, I don't know if there was any uh, art artist attached to this anyway. So I took a screenshot, and then I had it blown up. I've had it enlarged at Kinko's, and so then I could put it uh, shape-wise uh, on, you know, see how I like that size on my what's going to be my um, silk comforter uh, down comforter what i do like about it and and i've been studying online i've been studying how snakes look realistically so they've got uh scales of course on top and it seems a lot of them are diamond shaped and uh but then on the bottom they're they're like their scales are like lines like ridges and the artist is not depicting that here they've got little like dots like gravel and um the the scales for the skin look somewhat floral but what i like about it is i like the the floral it also lends itself to a uh, stitching uh, with embroidery and to me it's it's to me it's a little more feminine and so I like that I like this it's ready to go I like it a lot the only thing I was studying is uh, you know I need to make sure that I, I I know the art I know the line I know you know am I in agreement with all of this or do I need to change it so I have sketched out a plain version. I've started to uh, superimpose light little lines on what would be the, the belly of the snake. And I'll keep working with that permutations. Um, you know, I'll probably put some diamond on there so that I can look at it, see if I like it, then think of it in terms of how am I going to uh, translate that into embroidery? But, um, you know, the other thing is, is, you know, if someone were to ask, what kind of snake is that? Um, I don't feel uh, the need to define. Is it a rattlesnake? Is it a python? I do like that it's got fangs and um, I'm going to enlarge the fangs. <laughs> I'm going to make them more pronounced. And uh, I I gather and I like, you know, that that's a snake, you know, no matter what sort of uh, depiction uh, the style lends, you know, it's a snake. And from my origination of a framework and fretwork you know what it means to me you know what it means in origin actually <laughs> so i'm just playing around with uh ideas uh it's a it's if i'm going to be stitching and, and if i don't like my stitches that abuses the fabric i want to stitch stitch it right the first time and not just have a bunch of, you know, <laughs> stitches that I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Let me cut them out, uh, you know, stitch some more holes in. Um, I want it to look well, and I'm trying to figure it out the first first time. Um, I'm probably going to, once I figure out the smaller version, uh, probably will practice what I perceive as a what stitches, what type of stitching I will do where, and make a small version of it.
probably on the silk pillowcase. <laughs> so that will be my practice. Uh, one side of that will not have embroidery on, and one side will. <laughs> but I think it's good practice. Good practice for silk and seeing if it needs a backing or not. And um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it, would it be polite or impolite to ask what you are doing? I'm also thinking about the money, the silk money artwork. And I could do a couple of things. I can do a snake. I can do the X and O with re using recycle marks. I can do the exuberant icon, which is uh, duality, uh, duality versus uh, point of reference versus perception. Uh, this means something different than this. And I've got a silhouette here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to figure that out to see if I can't get artwork and a sample. And if I could get a sample, then maybe I could start a a Kickstarter or something, you know, I'm just trying to figure that out. Going into my uh, <laughs> keeping my uh, staying in bed with my bunion surgery. So, um, yeah, what else? Uh, also thinking about logistics, uh, you know, getting uh, the table, a, a different table over there, putting the computer over there, um, you know, having enough food. What am I going to eat? <laughs> you know, th things to try and troubleshoot as much as I can beforehand. I got uh, aspirin, Tylenol, and ibuprofen. Yes, I'm going to, I get, I get a, a many layered uh, pain approach. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> There's also the question, am I stealing someone's artwork? Am I reappropriating re it? Um, well, here's a question. So my last video, uh, Raspy, <laughs> uh, there is a Arcade Fire, uh, Everything Now, their, their song is playing in the background. I got an email from YouTube before I even published the video uh, as that uh, there was copyright mm, something. <laughs> Let's see what that says. I could find it. Yes. Copyright owner using content ID claimed in some material in your video. This is just a heads up, don't worry, blah, blah, blah. They didn't used to put that, don't worry, because, you know, there's been music in my videos before, and it was kind of like, what the fuck, what is this? You know, copyrighted because my eyes saw it and my ears heard. <laughs> I'm pulling it onto my frame and uh, I'm hearing for real R E A L L <laughs> versus R E E L. <laughs> so with hyphens. So I think that that is uh, something to consider. Um, is it, I have to say, it's a bit ironic, perhaps. I don't mind appropriating this as it is. In fact, you know, those little dots for the bottom, while they aren't the, uh, the lines of the scales, were, there are hints of them. See, um, right, gosh, right, uh. Where is it? Oh, right here. Just a little sliver of what would be 
the lines on the belly. And uh, so there are hints of it, but the, this, the dots kind of look like gravel, but you know, a, it could be a French knot as far as embroidery goes. <laughs> it can be translated. I, I rather like it. I like the graphic quality of this, and I'm thinking of copying it as is, only larger, except that I want to give myself a little bit of time to explore the pure permutations of what does a snake realistically look like? You know, what are the scales on its belly like? What I'm seeing is that they're different than the depiction here by this artist, this artwork, but I do like it. And I do like it for the purposes of uh, translating it to our artwork on my quilt. I, I like the whole, um, I've looked at uh, monogramming and embroidery of snakes that is more realistic and more, what do I want to say, more martial arts oriented. I rather like the flow of this. Like I said, it seems a little more feminine. The, the scallops and uh, almost like the stitching lines, like they were like ruffles, <laughs> fabric, or you know, it, it's it's it looks like it's being used to depict shade. You know, one skill on top of another. So, but I like it. <laughs> rather than trying to be realistic I can do a realistic depiction but I'm doing it in thread <laughs> okay <laughs> so if you want realism you know certainly um, painting uh, realistically on a 2d surface that's one thing I can strive for realism with thread <laughs> I'm working for a depiction, but I, but I wanted to bring up that I don't feel bad about, I see this, I like it, I want it enlarged, and I want to now put it in my own medium. Um... As far as my meta goes, let's look at a couple things. Um, I'm very, very interested at this time. I really like Natori, uh, N-A-T-O-R-I. Her uh, silk uh, clothing, uh, caftans and whatnot. And I've ordered a couple of caftans and then I got a, a, a two-piece uh, on eBay, I thought it was silk. Come to find out it's polyester. Honestly, it's so smooth. I can't tell the difference and I love the print that uh, uh, I'm trying to find the robe that matches it. <laughs> so it's kind of curious. I thought it was silk. It's not, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's so smooth. It feels like silk and, and I love the pattern that um, I'm, I'm very, I'm still very pleased. What else? It's a meta that I don't care that I took your artwork, whoever you are, <laughs> and I may uh, appropriate it in part or in whole. However, into a different medium. <laughs> it seems curious for me, for a person that's, uh, that has designed origin uh, of time and, and that we can start to look at what is go God, go odd, we need to start looking at our language and who's crafting that language and who are they speaking to and what is their intention through you. Um, 
it seems kind of curious that if I can craft origin, that I don't care about, hey, I like your artwork, I'm going to use it. <laughs> do I even need to mention it? I mention it because that's what I do. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm doing, this is where I am. Um, but I do find it cur curious for a person that uh, has strived, I have strived to contribute something litmus and um, it has taken me a while to get into the marketplace with something that I perceive to be of value and to uh, continue to reflect on me as the value I invested in it and embarked on for it to have it in return. <laughs> um, it's curious that that I'm not so concerned about origin here, you know? I think it's curious. I think it's a curious meta. Where will I go for, with that meta to try and figure it out? Um, I will look for the, I'll question the parallax the, and, and its dynamic. Maybe that's what it's doing regarding me. You see my artwork? You want to take it. Do you say anything about it? I don't know. Do, do you have to? <laughs> do you want to? Can you want to? <laughs> Will you want to? <laughs> I woke up from a nap earlier, um, and I couldn't remember the whole thought, but the remainder that I could remember was basically, Jackass can't put me one eye back in T, parentheses, H, I, N, parentheses, E, D. Jackass can't put the money back in time, Thine, hind, hind. And so we go for a reward. Um, I'm trying to figure out the image for me, one eye, Eve, even, because that's the intention here. And if it's the intention here, ear, um, That would be the intention for a visual, too, that you know what the visual means, not uh, the no-name snake of creating product for no reason, thief end, you know? You're just pushing competition. And honestly, it is ironic that I'm taking this from an article about uh, people losing their love affair with Silicon Valley and the digital your digital products, you're not, you're inbreeding uh, connection, thief and doft, you know, uh, more ID protection because you have, you're not the bear, bearer of ID, honestly, honestly, or the tone. If you're not the tone, you're not the hone. You're not the D, you're not the done, you're not the HD, you're not the head, the hand, and uh, you know, the high definition is making hyphenated shit top, <laughs> which is just basically more competition. Ford and forging, put your hyphens in that. <laughs> more reward, hyphen D. <laughs> For Doft to stand his stubby <laughs> in the lead, because <laughs> he can always fault back on the tin tine in the hyphenated hind and your your thine you've you've forecasted doffed him <laughs> to be doffed to bed doffed and if you're paying doffed to sustainable wage for no reason uh rest assured he will bed okay 
stopped Thiefang. <laughs> I feel I need uh, to give this a go and to stop hedging around it. So now I have to do different things instead of my notes. Um, create a visual and I'd get that at least to a presentable um, a presentable invitation in the marketplace. I have to think about the larger motivation. Uh, one is is the transmutation of of me one eye hyphenated and turning it into me one eye that's uh, has proprietary rage R A G E parentheses N D the it's, it's standing for completion even and knowing what that means, what you're getting into. <laughs> we don't carry a gun instead of reason. And then call that reason. <laughs> and then call that made up reason, thief and call that love. <laughs> okay. Even. We, no, this is not what this is about, this frame is about. The other thing is to get the, probably the, the website news agency. So we start interacting at the very least because communication is, it's its own uh, propagation of inherent value. Michelle Bachman, okay, she's falling back on the hyphenated tin tine. So when she speaks going for reward, it's for reward hyphen D because she is not the bearer of character to be here or there. T-H-E-I-R. She cannot engineer that. She cannot bring it to pass. Okay, so she's speaking malfeasantly on the cur hyphen rent uh, song and dong of the hyphenated throng. Okay, that your trust and your thrust, all right, with hyphens. Um, she has to fall back on the tin tine of Dowling with War to be able to forecast more. but she is not the engineer. She is not the character. She is not the value bearer. She does not contribute here nor there. She's speaking to the hyphens to Dow with War, okay? To get a return of her score, her core, her sore, and restore the sore that's hyphenated. <laughs> All right? So she can keep, well, we would have, we'll try it again. Look, I think we need to have the, the right two people talking. And if not the right two people, then uh, have a forum of, of grace opportunity and possibility to sell yourself. So that's the other part of that initiative to uh, turn your me one eye into me one eye even and uh, provide a, a forum to start exchanging. Be a word, communication, product, uh, that the money means something. You know, right now to doft, stupid, dowling with war, he gets paid to stay doth and to, to have his said, to say, to say, um, you know, with no, 
with no boundary. His competition, for no reason, Fifend, has no boundary because he has brought no one innocent among him. All right? So that puts every woman at, at, to be vulnerable and to be put placed inside container dock to two talk where your money is not virtuous nor can it be brought that way because it was never intended to. <laughs> it was never intended to be even, only even, fiefend. <laughs> fiefend debt to proclaim. Dow with war is the gam game end. It has to be because that is the trajectory you're sowing. And if you want to make traction, you make it towards war. Okay, because you're not the heir and you're not speaking to care right here. By being aware, by being the aware. So that you take to the Tao <laughs> in follow through. was thinking for eight weeks downtime that would be pretty nice to kind of try and launch something you know uh, I'm gonna be right there sewing hexagons <laughs> basting the back <laughs> the very least um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it uh, ready by then you know a presentation and um, you know, I'm kind of feeling out uh, receptivity on the other other end. Um, I can dilly dally like house industries and come up with uh, various uh, stylistic. Did you notice that was monotone? Stylistic, beautiful uh, items. That have a lot of thought in them. <laughs> Except they're perpetually not to actually meant to go anywhere. <laughs> so I can get into my own little world and I can come up with, oh, I like the floral design of this snake, but I don't want to look like I'm not original, so I'm going to study the real thing and put some scales on that belly. <laughs> Then I'm going to take it to my own medium. I'm teaching myself something new. Embroidery. <laughs> then I'll see if I can start a whole business. Maybe I need to find someone in the marketplace that can frame me. Like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> He's, he speaks the language for the actors. I'll put the clothes on them. That's a perfect marriage. <laughs> we'll make it go round and round. Sexless <laughs> hyphen T. <laughs> Don't mean to be rude here. Um, that's the latest in the news, though. But I'm sure that there are many couples that understand this scenario well hyphen D or well hyphen T okay you know what I'm talking about uh, you're putting on um, airs uh, that you care that you have cared now you have kids so you got to put on more airs um, to apparently be aware um, you know let's cut the bullshit get follow through bring the time even for completion and uh, start whittling off whittling away whittling off uh, uh, doffed doff to the tooth the assay assay uh, doffed can't put the money back in your tin time and your in and thine your 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 hind hind can't do it uh, he cannot re reduce, reduct, redact to innocence in reflection that he never thought of, thought off, in fact, tooth the tact, to be 
black. With what was red, re-add, A-D. <laughs> it's about being necessary. Selling yourself is uh, the L over L, uh, love, uh, one time, uh, zero on one. Um, it's about being necessary. <laughs> um, I've not found a job in the marketplace that actually requires me ever to be necessary. Um, Trader Joe's uh, likes a personality, and but then they will run it through their business like a turnstile fashion. If you question that there, they are well through their managers through their petty managers that they are providing me a container to be in <laughs> they're not actually providing the container but they're taking my image of value and should i question uh their pettiness then they're more than happy to arrange the dynamic of working with other managers to get to sh shuttle me out and have someone else come in. Someone who does not know better yet, okay? That's Trader Joe's here in Maine. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> S-U-C-K hyphen T hyphen. <laughs> we have some female managers here that uh, I think they're uh, equal to the men at headquarters, and the men at headquarters are not the heir, but they act like they are. <laughs> because the men at headquarters, for no reason, pay the petty female managers at Trader Joe's a good amount of cash to actually squat tone on women. Now, if you're a petty manager and you're getting along with others, that's because you've harvested stupid in follow through. All right. And if you're working there, it's because you're sufficiently stupid to still work there. Okay. <laughs> I left there with $2 in my bank account. Uh, my feedback for my, my work ethic, uh, where I was dancing circles around people because I'm energetic, I think, <laughs> and I am utterly capable <laughs> with many different hats. Uh, my feedback from Libby Pamphrey was, you have a smile. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're smiling when you're not smiling. <laughs> What the fuck? Seriously? <laughs> I get paid nine bucks an hour, and I'll have you know, <laughs> if I thought better of you, I would have you know, the word that you're looking for is engagement, and I never fail to engage. I am not going to stand over there by myself with a slap silly clown smile on my face in case you look my way. Wishing you paid me enough for Botox and filler <laughs> to make your day. <laughs> That's Libby Pamphrey. You could go see her at Portland, Maine, Trader Joe's. She seems to run a lot of people out of her store. <laughs> She runs a lot of people out of her store and she's been doing it for years and she fills in the gap with uh, someone that's uh, does not know better. And in not knowing better, you probably think that you should offer her a little <laughs> on her anus. Okay, because she's going to like that and you're going to get a pay raise. All right. Um, but she is fighting the wrong fight because she's never brought the savior. She simply wants to squat tone on you 
if you don't bring the savior. You can't be the savior among Libby Pamphrey at Trader Joe's, okay? But she has no qualms about jacking you. Smell this, kiss it appropriately, or you're not really going to work here because she's going to contrive something to make it very uncomfortable for you to work there. And she's going to work in relation with other managers. <laughs> so I don't see what she's doing is righteous at all. If you're going to speak of a higher standard for a grocery store and you want that from your people, uh, you're not bringing the time and they can't bring it among you okay <laughs> that's called asinine <laughs> now i use this as an example of of i've not had many corporate jobs i got a job at trader joe's when the economy was diving I think that was around 2008 it, it opened here it was a new business it was the large format and uh, um, 3,000 applicants a lot of people here were needing a job uh, only 100 people hired and I was one of them and I'm a very good worker and uh, I'm still mad to this day giving my best and never getting it back and getting shirked and jerked around <laughs> you know with with feedback that has nothing to do with there's no critical thinking in the feedback i get about the work i'm doing and i'm producing your smile doesn't smile when you're not smiling <laughs> I do not know where to start with you, <laughs> okay? I do not know where to start with you. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, now you're upset that I'm upset that I don't know what where to, where to start with you when you're making shit up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, it might be polite because I said, Jesus, fuck. Well, you're not the heir, okay? Nor would you allow the heir to be right here, okay? Where do I start with you and not thinking through two by two? Yet, you desire to con constantly squat, tone, to look like, hey, hey, everyone, I brought follow through for all of you. Come here. <laughs> that's what you have to offer I got some church lady bile pigments <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice <laughs> simply illustrating why you need to follow through the steps I've taken uh, Leaving Trader Joe's because I can't bear, um, I can't bear the burden of willful ignorance any longer, and with only two dollars in my bank account, was not easy. Okay, Um, I'm not going to be accountable to you. To toy you that would, W-O-O hyphen D. I'm not going to be accountable to you. And uh, you can count that I will drop kick IT back in your grill if you don't bring the time here for real. Because all you that are shopping at Trader Joe's and supporting this, uh, um, you're supporting the, the land to be brought toft. You're supporting all the land to go to competition for no reason, FIFA. 
So a Trader Joe's can bring in, trying to think during the holidays, was it more, it was it, it several million, right? A week? Stop, stop, stop. Start looking at other places to shop, okay? <laughs> Mix it up a little bit. There are some nice uh, local places. Uh, you've got Lois's. You've got Rosemont Deli. There's, what is it, AMC? There's a new one. Um, there's the Portland Co-op. Um, get out of these places that will put a nice veneer on and not give a fuck underneath it. Okay? <laughs> I recognize when I talk about that. I shop at Whole Foods because I will not shop at Trader Joe's. Mid Whole Foods is probably the same as Trader Joe's. All I can say is I don't know that because I haven't worked there. And the only hedge I have is maybe I can't afford to know that. Okay. <laughs> but I do know, uh, I do not believe in Trader Joe's. There was a lot of duress uh, when that economy was tanking and that you had people uh, looking for pedestrian jobs and couldn't find a pedestrian job. There was a lot of duress. And, uh, you know, uh, Tracy Acciola was the first, uh, she was the first manager from uh, Massachusetts uh, where I think they were starting at 11 an hour. And in Trader Joe's, each captain can uh, st start the pay, wa pay, rage, pay wage where they want, and she chose nine. And I think uh, one of the things I've learned in Maine is people that come from elsewhere. And granted, I'm not from Maine originally, but I've been here 15 plus years. Um, people from elsewhere think that they can pay a Maine price. Uh, for instance, uh, I studied Venetian plaster in Italy and folk finishes across the nation. And there was a woman in New Hampshire that was, she was from New York. She had a place in Scottsdale and then she was building a place in New Hampshire. It had a portico. It had the horse drawn carriage and round a circular driveway. She had, uh, she had kitchens were bigger than my apartment on each floor she had a meditation room she want she inv she wanted me to come down to price out i brought all my plaster and gilding samples walked through uh i walked through the the house as it was being built i had to park a quarter mile away because of all the construction workers. <laughs> I couldn't get close enough to the house. So uh, there were so many people working there, but uh, she walked me through and uh, right away she said, uh, you know, that she, she was having, a, it was like a, uh, a stone firing, it could have been an oven. She was having the GC, general contractor, he was ha she was having their workers try and faux finish the stone. And she was commenting to me that she didn't like it. It wasn't very good. Well, granted, these workers who I chose art to set myself apart from, uh, they're not studying this with a critical eye, okay? <laughs> you ask them to do something that's not what they do. And, but I thought it was interesting right away that she was divulging to me very candidly, oh, I don't like what they're doing. And, and then she took me into another room and this is, you know, I asked for this kind of faux finish on the wall and this is what I got and I don't like it. And then she took me up into the, the meditation room and she wanted it all gilded and uh, on the 
what would be a wood um, trim. And so I took measurements to get back to her. And uh, ultimately she decided, no, she's not gonna do that. But I'm kind of like, well, here's the thing. I know you're from New York and you're, you're, you're coming to New England and you expect to pay New England prices, but the closest person you're gonna find that can do this work is in New York. So I'm charging, charging New York prices or you can fly someone in. <laughs> and she didn't choose me and that's fine. Uh, but but I use that as an example of some of the dynamics that I've learned to expect and read here in terms of in building, uh, oftentimes I've worked with people that are not from here. And then when I worked at the grocery store, well, we expect you, you're used to getting by on little, we're going to keep you that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Uh, there was a lot that was not okay with that Trader Joe's opening, uh, selling a lot of words and a promise, promises that went up, not even in smoke, in vapors in terms of Tracy Achiola, I didn't say that, <laughs> you know, what would be the, the, the pay raise per year was nowhere near, <laughs> she didn't remember, but <laughs> there were plenty of us that did, kind of like, <laughs> great, it was all just, it was all just uh, fronting promises so that she can open a new prototype large uh, market and uh, be promoted so she just had to sell us enough and that we would work we would put that golden ring in our nose and let them yank us all over the place okay stay late st oh come early work here work there change your schedule because uh it's a new it's a new opening and uh they were busy and we had to rise to the occasion and uh, get Tracy off into being promoted higher up the headquarter hierarchy. It's like you need someone, and I put that ironically, need, <laughs> put that in quotation marks, someone that's a glazer, <laughs> okay? She's going to glaze the glossy surface. Surface. It doesn't mean that she can hone it. She can't bring the time. She just looks like she can represent it. And that's all you're counting tone on. You got to get rid of the person that's representing it because that puts a, a, a hole and a flaw in your theory that you are the time, uh, that you've thought about the time. <laughs> yeah, it puts, a, it puts a hole in it, it puts a ripple in it, okay? <laughs> and your fabric starts unraveling and the scales start falling. <laughs> So I don't know what else to do unless I want to be evasive and make pretty things and have a product company and, you know, I have do seminars on how to get the perfect zero, <laughs> how to create fonts that are going to dow with war, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, um, it, I feel that uh, I have to enlarge my offerings, uh, not by dowing with war, because that's not the traction that I'm looking for to restore. So, but I do feel like I need to enlarge the offerings, enlarge the, the platform, um, to get the message across. Why? So I can get it back. 
back in black. It's probably going to be a humble start. Uh, that's what I have to work with, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Uh, but work with, uh, we must. <laughs>